Hello everyone and peace of the Lord to all of you. This is what the Israeli army found in Hamas warehouses. You know, the first thing you ask yourself, how in the world they got in their hand into this? I mean, can I buy those from eBay? Can I order those weapon, heavy duty weapon, army weapon from Amazon? Where they got this weapon from? It's not enough to find the weapon. They should find out where and how they were able to be delivered. See, the Israelis they have uh, an agreement with Egypt. Even Egyptian army cannot have certain weapon close to their borders. This is part of the peace agreement. How this weapon is going to Gaza, the only place to go through is through Egypt. How? I am 100% sure that all this weapon coming through, through the United Nation convoy. United Nation is the only one nobody check. Nobody ask. They don't even open their doors for customs. And the United Nation, they provide Gaza non-stop with food and supply for free. Like now we see the G7 are meeting supposedly, the, the, uh, 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 the groomed seven, they are meeting and all of them they agree they will increase massively money to Gaza so they can have more babies and eat for free and nobody have a job to encourage them to join Hamas. It's like, you know, those liberals in the state, they want to give everyone cell phone, uh, everyone in welfare. And uh, this is why you see a, a homeless person in California staying in the tent to make interview with him. He said to you, why do I want to work? They are giving me cell phone, unlimited plan, free internet, and $700 a month. And then, you know, cobone for uh, food. Why I want to work? And this is what they are doing there too. This is why if you are a person who is going to donate to Gaza, you are a fool. I saw the video actually, I should look for it again and show you how they are, the people of Gaza, they are cursing the one who sent them the food. They complain, the basquit is not good. The water is not delicious. This Pepsi is not Pepsi. I mean, you send them Pepsi. So, you donate to them, they curse you. The Saudi, the Emirati, the Kuwaiti, they donate for them for the last 50 years, and they keep cursing them. Going back to the topic, how in the world those are arrive? I want you to tell me, and if you are from Israel, I want you to share my video with your government and ask them, we need to, you know, we need to investigate because Hamas cannot do what they are doing now if they don't have this. So how this is arriving to them? לשימושים רבים, נותנים את זה באפוקסי, מתאם לנפץ חמאס. הדבר הזה אני יכול לשים על גדר, אני יכול לעצב את זה מסביב לתורן, למצלמה, להרבה מודות, כיתוב אפילו באנגלית. האקספלוסיב, TNT, 1 פאונד. תוצרת. קשה מאוד להגיד, הדבר הזה נפוץ בכל העולם. שנת ייצור 2007. TNT. שמועות לכאן ולכאן שאני מעדיף... Okay. Where we can order this from? Look at this. מיועד לפגוע במטוסים ומסוקים, SA7, סטרלה, שבשניים נעשה שימוש. נעשה שימוש לפחות בשניים מהם. רשק של RPG 29, mm -hmm. זה הרשק, 
רשק טרמוברי, חומר נפץ טרמוברי זה חומר נפץ שמייצר הדף תבערה עד ל-3,000 מעלות צלזיוס בתוך החדר. הוא לא מרסק את המבנה, אבל כל מי שנמצא שם בפנים נשרף בעודו בחיים. הדבר הזה היא מתאם לנפץ שלהם, מכניס את הנפץ, מושך נצרה, ובעצם יש לי שבע שניות לזרוק את זה לבפנים ולתאר את המבנה מאדם. מוצב סופה, הדבר הזה נזרק לכל אחד מעשרה חדרים בתוך המוצב. שרוב הסיירת הנחל שם הייתה בחוץ, ומהר יצאו החוצה. הגיבו לא מאוד מה... מהר, הכוחות הגיבו מהר, להבדיל מסרטונים שרצים וזה, הכוחות <אח> היו דרוכים וערוכים במרבית <אח> המקומות. כמו... כן. הם פתחו חדר חדר במוצב, כל החדרים שם מפויחים, שרופים לחלוטין, בגלל המטען הזה. או כמה כאלה? עשרות, רבות. עשרות רבות. הדבר הזה מבוסס אותו דבר, רשק של RPG. כזה, לקחו אותו, הצמידו לו מנגנון מכני לנגנות, ומגיע לטנק ומצמיד את זה. הדבר הזה... מגנט? מגנט. מושך, שבע שניות, מתפוצץ על הטנק. מרקם, מטען רסס כיפתי מואף, בעצם נועד לפגוע גם באדם, גם ברכב ממוגן, מטען דואלי, שכבת רסס וחומר נפץ. מוקשים שהוסבו למטענים, מוקש אה, בייצור אה, מצרי ואיטלקי, נקרא TC6, ללא המנגנון שלו, פשוט מוסב למטען. נגיד אדם? So the, to make it short, I mean, like most of you don't understand what he's saying, trying to explain to you the weapon, but you are seeing how the weapon is lined up, and this is just in one location. This is only in one location. אבל נגיד חומת בטון של מוצב כן יכול לחזור. חומת בטון מזוין של מוצב זה לא אמור לעשות נזק. וגם זה שוב, ברגע שזה מתפוצץ, זה מתפוצץ על הקיר, ואוטומטית הרשת השני מתפוצץ גם הוא. כן, כן. כל זה מגיע בטובות האלה. ייצור מקומי שלהם, RPG 7 VR, טייבל קסאם. גדודי עזדין אל קסאם מייצרים את זה, זאת הרקטה, זאת הרקטה הטרמוברית, כתוב גם ממש את הטווח, טווח יעיל 150 מטר, כאן הטווח הוא 100 מטר, קטעות RPG בגדלים, כתרים שונים, חדירויות שונות, ייצורים שונים, כל הירוקות ייצור רוסי, כל האפורות ייצור צפון קוריאני. And that will take us to other point. Right now they are speaking about making two state solution. You know what, when you say state, that means those people, they can buy a weapon legally. I mean, they are not a state yet, and they have this. The second you make them as a state, then they can make order for heavy duty weapon and whatever it is. And if you say to yourself, okay, we can make uh, the peace agreement including that they cannot have a heavy, heavy weapon. What is heavy weapon? This is not considered heavy weapon for armies, by the way. Heavy weapon is, say, something way different, you know, like uh, uh, tanks, uh, airplanes, long range, but, but those people live a few meters away from the Israeli. They do not need heavy weapon to do the real damage. They don't. So this is have to be part of the agreement that they can buy this easy. They will say to them, you cannot have airplane, you cannot have uh, tanks, uh, you can have armors maybe, yeah, but you cannot have anything else. You can have RBG, you can have, but this is, this is, <laughs> I mean, you are dealing with the RBG right now. So this is why I say a two-state solution is a big mistake for Israel. The same as the big mistake they did when they legalize so-called today is Palestinian Authority. You know, when they signed this agreement with so-called Palestinian Authority, Yasser Arafat at that time, at that time Yasser Arafat was just a terrorist. Then the stupid Israeli, by the pressure of the stupid American, they forced them to sign an agreement, which is done under the corrupt the sex maniac, Clinton, 1993. And the whole negotiation happened, I believe, in Oslo. 
So when the Israeli, they made the biggest mistake by signing so-called peace agreement. They legalize a terrorist organization. So now Yasser Arafat became president Yasser Arafat. Look, yesterday, just at, uh, five minutes before the, they signed the agreement, he was a terrorist Yasser Arafat. The guy, this guy, he kidnapped hundreds of airplanes from Europe. What they do for a living is to kidnap airplanes. Every week, there's an airplane kidnapped by Yasser Arafat. And what the Europeans do to it, instead of going after him and his organization, they pay him money, ransom. This is how stupid Europeans are. I used to think about European, you know, they are, I mean, look, they have technology, look at them. I mean, we, look at us in the Middle East, we are just nobody. After I moved to the West, I noticed that Western people are really dumb and stupid. And Billy Clinton now is so proud, he made the deal of the century, peace agreement. And the Israelis are breathing now, oh, finally, we are going to live in peace with our neighbors. Did you have peace? Did you ever have one day of peace since 1993? The same will happen again. They will gather again, those Western dummies. They will bring the Israeli. They will bring the head of the authority today, Yasser Arafat died, and they replace him by another corrupt man, terrorist. They will bring the Israeli. They put them in a table. Okay, shake hands. Let us sign this. Okay, now we have peace. Second day, stabbing will start, RBG hit will start, explosion in the street will start, and we go back to zero. Because all of us, we knew that those people, they want every single Jew to be thrown in the sea. Which means, no peace agreement ever will bring peace. You cannot have peace with people who want to kill you. They signed peace agreement today so they can earn something from it. And this is what the terrorists did. Yasser Arafat became President Yasser Arafat. So you gave him a prize and you got nothing but a screwdriver in your anus. Sorry, I have to use this language. The truth hurt. Leave your comment. And tell me if you agree with me, if you don't. But time will tell. You see, this video is posted today. Today is what? November 7, 8? I'm not sure. 2023? Meet me if I'm still alive 20 years from now. And get me busted and tell me that Israel have peace with their neighbors. That will never happen. Because nobody understands the reality that the whole war is about religion. Those are Muslims. They hate the Jews. They want to kill every single Jew and every single Christian. They believe that Saturday is first, Sunday is next. Which means we kill the Jews first because this is the most we hate. They are here between us. Finish them and then we go to the Christians. Only foolish people, they believe in peace. With someone, believe in a book of the devil. And his book command him to kill anyone who is not from his religion. The Bible says, Peace to those who love peace, and no peace for the wicked man. And you dummies, are signing peace with the wicked man. Fooling yourself that the wicked man believe and love peace. Thank you very much for listening. Leave your comment and tell me what do you think. God bless you all.